Hello, everybody. This is Constance Arnold, uh, international radio talk show host of the Think, Believe, and Manifest talk show. I'm an author and also a success coach. And today I'm going to be talking about the power of your imagination or how to unleash and use your imagination to manifest your wildest dreams. You know, imagination is a powerful tool that God has given to us and nothing is ever created unless it first happens where? In our imagination. I love what Einstein said. He said that imagination is the preview of life's coming attractions. That is so powerful. And I believe that imagination is everything because whether you know it or not, you always have a movie or images running in your mind. And either of those images are about the past. It might be about what is. And personally, I believe that we are hypnotized many times by our seemingly current current reality or those images or our imagination can be about the future because the real truth is your imagination attracts so when you live in your history you're going to attract more of that uh, so you want to begin to bring into the nowness, I just created that word, of your life, images of what you desire. I was talking to a person just the other day, and they said to me, Constance, I'm broke. And this is what I said back to them. You're not broke. You have an image of being broke. Change your image. Change your money. And so when you change your imagination or your image, you're really changing your consciousness. You got to remember that your subconscious takes everything literally and really doesn't know the difference between a lie and the truth. So your imagination or the images that you choose to place in your mind with emotion attached to it actually tattoo on your subconscious what you truly desire. So can you see what a powerful creator you are? You know, some people say to me, I don't really know how to use my imagination. Yes, you do. Because anytime you are worrying about the future, how you're going to pay your bills, what's going to happen in your life, if you have enough money, that is a form of worry is a form of pictures and movies and images that are flowing through your mind. And so I want you to deliberately to begin to live out of your God image and not out of your history. What's your God image? God says that you were created in the image and the likeness of God, that you're good, that you're great, that you're awesome. And so what is your current image of your life? Have you allowed life circumstances of lack or possibly loss of relationships or dreams uh, that have robbed you of your true image to just permeate your entire being? Well, you know, you can change that. And so you're going to have to learn how to become a good actor in your mind. What role do you want to play? What do you want your life to look like? You've got to choose your role. You know, you are actually the star of your own life. You design the role and you live it in your mind. So I want you to begin to build an image of yourself, having great friends, going on a great vacation, loving your life, um, taking just wonderful trips, building a great career. You determine what role you are going to play because whatever you imagine will not be withheld from you. And that's in the Bible. So the good news is all conceivable states are awaiting you 
all conceivable states are awaiting your choices and occupancy. So determined imagination, thinking from the end, is the beginning of all of your miracles. So we could really say that your imagination creates miracles and is miraculous. So this is what I want you to do every day. I want you to schedule some time to unleash your imagination every single day. Just get in a really quiet place, choose one goal, and just begin to imagine that it's already done. What would that look and feel like in your life? I want you to use as much color, vividness, as much emotion as you can to see yourself in your mind already having that manifestation. And so the more you use your imagination, the more vivid and detailed it is, the more you engage all of your senses, the more you will accelerate your manifestation. So step into your future now with your imagination. You do not have to know how. Just believe. I want you to practice it until you become a master at it. You can consciously and deliberately see, feel, and speak things into existence. The art of visualization or using your imagination is a skill that is to be practiced and developed over and over and over again. But guess what? You can do it because you are a powerful creator.